And we continue our team coverage with CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez. He joins us from the control room with a focus on Chelsea Clinton and the other speakers. Elliot. Well, Ruta Bay, before Hillary Clinton's speech, the night focused on showing that she can be trusted, she's ready to lead on day one, and she would be tough on terror. But the highlight was the introduction by Chelsea Clinton, who grew up in the public eye and has become a grateful daughter. She makes me proud every single day. Chelsea Clinton showed a side of her mother we rarely see, the woman who is a tireless fighter for Americans in need and a great mom. I, I hope that my children will someday be as proud of me as I am of my mom. I am so grateful to be her daughter. Earlier, the delegates heard from New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who said Republicans ignore America's greatest strength, its diversity. Unless Republicans are all Native Americans, then they are immigrants too. My grandmother believed that America was the greatest nation in the world. And I'm with Hillary so that our grandkids will believe the same thing too. NBA great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar introduced the parents of a Muslim American who died serving in Iraq. A retired four-star general appeared on stage with veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. And former Republicans told the crowd Donald Trump is simply not an option. I'm here tonight to say I knew Ronald Reagan. I worked for Ronald Reagan. Donald Trump, you are no Ronald Reagan. In Donald Trump's America, it doesn't matter what I've accomplished as an attorney and policy expert. All that matters is how attractive I am on a scale of 1 to 10. The crowd was entertained by Katy Perry, capping off a convention that featured plenty of A-listers while making history. I'm voting for a fighter who never, ever gives up and who believes that we can always do better when we come together. Well, Chelsea Clinton made an effort to woo Bernie Sanders supporters, calling her mother a progressive and a fighter, someone who will protect the planet, fight gun violence, and fight human for human rights around the world. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you.